Hey y'all, I'm Bobby Steiner, Director of Golf Instruction at Cap Rock Golf Lab here at Horseshoe Bay Resort. And today I want to reflect back on a video I did a few weeks ago where I talked about the standard chip shot, wherein you start with a small letter Y, and you can see the small letter Y formed by my arms and my club, with the idea for the plain vanilla chip shot that you will maintain that small letter Y throughout so that someone can identify it at the end. And I was telling you then that that's a, a wonderful means of hitting of standard chip shots and I still stand by that. However, I want you to know it's far more universal than that. This is a ball striking virtue, the ability to produce a small letter Y, and it has a, a real myriad of applications. Now, that's the chip shot. I want you to know that that small letter Y is also the same exact swing you would use when you're trying to punch out from under a tree. Maybe you're 200 yards away, and you say, you know what? I don't want to punch out sideways. I want to go into that branch, but I don't want to just get 50 yards out of it. I want to get much more than that. Well, you start with your small letter Y, and then you maintain that throughout. Leaning that shaft left is going to deal off the club. I've got a five iron right here, and that ball will come off of there beautifully. It's still just a small letter Y swing. You can still see the small letter Y at the finish of my swing. And so if the wind is in your face, you want to keep it low, small letter Y. If you want to hit under a branch, keep it low, small letter Y. But what about when things just simply aren't tuned to perfection and you're out there playing golf and your full swing, just, you just don't have it today. Well, you can revert to or use then a small letter Y swing. It's only going to cost you about 10% of your distance. But if you really want to keep things under control and don't, have a, don't want to you know, take the risk of a lot of wrist action, then that small letter Y swing can be something you can even use with your driver when things seem a little tight, the pressure's mounting, and you need to get it in the fairway. It is a wonderful way to hit the golf ball regardless of which type you're hitting. So it's a chip shot, it's a knockdown shot, and it's a keep the thing in play shot even with your tee shot. Now this is Bobby Steiner here at Caprock Golf Lab at Horseshoe Bay Resort. I'll look forward to seeing you next week.